Okay, boys, um, you know, yesterday or the other day I showed you uh, mounting one of these HID bulbs inside an old um, burned out uh, halogen floodlight. Today I'm going to mount the other one to this bad boy. This is a 500 watt halogen bulb. And I'm going to retrofit the fixture to take this 35 watt HID lamp. And we're going to mount the lamp in here and put all the electronics and everything inside this waterproof housing and turn this power sucking 500 watt halogen into a 35 watt HID operating on 12 volts. The lens housing off, the first thing we need to do is to remove this old 500 watt power wasting halogen bulb. We're going to set that aside because it might come in useful at some other time. And then we have to remove one screw at the back here, which holds the reflector in place. And then we're able to remove the reflector. Okay, now that we've got the reflector removed, we need to remove these two screws here. These will remove the bulb holder. And then, we're, then I'm going to uh, drill a hole into the side case here. I'm going to mount a bolt through here with a nut to hold the bolt in place and mount the lamp in between here. But let's get, the, uh, let's get this bracket out first and then uh, we'll start working on the rest of it. This is the reflector. It's a nice little aluminum reflector, kind of uh, well, flimsy, but it will get the job done. We've uh, now taken the uh, the rest of the, the uh, guts out of here, and I'm just going to go grab a drill, and we're going to drill a hole in one of the sides here so that I can mount the lamp, and we'll drill a hole through the, uh, through the base of the lamp as well so that we can mount that in here. And... Uh, there should be no problem mounting the ballast assembly inside here. It's not that big. Here's a new way to solder wires. One of these uh, fancy windproof lighters. Perfect as a soldering torch. So I'm just going to heat up the wire here and uh, i got to put the camera down to do this so because I need two hands. But you get the drift. I'm going to heat up the wire with the torch and solder the wires. And I'm going to put this heat shrink tubing on here to prevent short circuits. Now I wasn't able to show you how well my crack pipe lighter solders these wires, but take my word for it, it's good. But I can show you how well it uh, causes the heat shrink tubing to shrink down. These little lighters are called uh, windproof lighters, but they more resemble a blowtorch inside. So now I've mounted my ballast in the base of the cabinet and I've put one of my bolts through and I'm just using my Dremel tool here just to score. I'm going to snap off the bottom of this bolt here. I'm only going to use one bolt to hold the ballast in place because really once the fixture is together it, it shouldn't go anywhere. Zip tie with a mounting hole around the igniter and we'll be able to mount that using one of the existing holes that was mounting the uh, original lamp in the back here. Now as you can see, we're going to uh, attach the bolt to mount our lamp to. We're just going to tighten this down here. And we're going to mount two more nuts on here with the lamp attached to here once we get the reflector in place. The lamp is going to be anchored onto this bolt once the reflector goes in place and that's the next step. So there we have the HID lamp mounted in the center of this reflector. Not quite as straight as I would have liked it but it's okay. It, it, the light shall still be uh, pretty intense off this unit and I'm just going to uh, I'm actually cover up this hole with some put some foil over there just to get a little more reflectivity of light loss through that hole. Then we're going to put the, um, the UV glass on the front power the sucker up and see how it looks. Okay, we're ready for our first lighting. I'm going to power this up with a battery just for the first time here and see how it works. I've got the, the housing has been installed. One important thing about the glass on the front here is it protects you from UV light as it is a UV filter. 
as these lights do tend to throw off a bit of UV light. So let's hook up the battery and see if it works. That's just me trying to get the battery connected. As you can see, the light comes up fairly bright almost immediately. Over the next few seconds, it will build up full output. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on all the lights and close down my garage door here so we can see how much light this thing throws by itself. There it is. I've got all the lights turned out. It, um, I would say it's comparable to the 100 watt light that I've got in my uh, garage door opener. The light output is nice. It certainly is a nice floodlight and it's nice and bright. It's not as bright as the 500 watt bulb that was in there prior to this. But it does give you more than enough light as a work light. Total cost of this project, the ballast that I had to buy was $40. The burners, if you were to buy them, they generally run around $20 a piece. The housing was salvaged.